if they're not going to tell us by, by talking to us or raising their hands or their paws or anything else. It's all in the face. And this one could be telling you a lot about its health. Researchers using the Grimace scale for cats say it's a quick and easy way to tell if your cat is in pain. Researchers say veterinarians are less likely to prescribe painkillers to cats compared to dogs, and the felines are great at hiding their pain. What made it really um, useful was when we gave the cats that we thought were painful some pain relief, we could see the change in their faces. So we could see their faces becoming much more relaxed and, and, and happy looking. The scale looks at five features, the cat's ears, head, whiskers, and muzzle tension, and whether the cat's eyes are opened or closed. When they're happy and relaxed, the ears face forward, and as they become more painful, the ears tend to flatten off and rotate backwards. We also look at how wide open their eyes are, if their eyes are kind of squinted and, and pinched shut. We look at their whiskers, again, if their whiskers are nice and relaxed and fan-shaped, or if they become bunched up and tense. There are measures for seeing if a cat is suffering from pain, but they take a lot of time and aren't easy for a clinic. It's encouraging them to pay attention to their cats. That's all we're, we're looking for, really. So I think that's, uh, that's rarely a bad thing. Researchers developed a training manual for vets and animal health staff. For pet owners, they say it's easy for them to spot changes, but it's the interpretation of that change that's not so obvious. In Calgary, Crystal Ladaris, City News.